Level 16 is a movie where a bunch of innocent girls live in a school where they're taught to be good for families who will adopt them. But two girls decide to find out the real truth about the school, and it is shocking. The movie kicks off with two wonderful girls, Vivian and Sophia, who share a deep bond as best friends. They attend a unique boarding school, which also doubles as a foster home for young girls. As they reach level 10, they open up about their dreams of finding a loving family to adopt them. In this heartfelt moment, Vivian makes a heartfelt promise to Sophia, assuring her that they'll always stay together. Come what may, one night, all the girls are lined up against a wall, waiting to put a special cream on their faces to clean them. They have a set time to do this, and it's being recorded on camera. Everyone has to take their turn, and no one can be even a tiny bit late. Sophia has weak eyesight and drops her cream, but Vivian helps her. While helping Sophia, Vivian takes longer, and an alarm goes off. Guards show up, and the girls get scared and turn to face the wall. The guards take Vivian away, and she calls out for help from Sophia, but Sophia is too scared of the guards to do anything. Vivian gets punished for taking longer than her turn. As Vivian and Sophia grew older, they moved up to the next floor, which was like going to the next level. The highest floor in this place is level 16, and once they reach that level, they can be adopted by a family. On their way to level 16, the girls are taught important things like good manners, how to take care of a home, and proper etiquette. They're also taught that causing trouble or breaking the rules is not a good thing. Keeping everything clean is also stressed here, and the girls receive care, including taking vitamins and using cream, which is important. Today marked their very first day on level 16. Excitement filled the air as they picked out their new beds and dove into their assigned tasks. Among them, Sophia secretly met with Vivian in the washroom. Sophia still believed Vivian was her friend, but something had changed. Sophia wanted to share something important, but Vivian wasn't interested in listening. Meanwhile, the supervisor of the boarding home, Miss Brixel, made an appearance. She brought in new dresses for the girls during their assembly, each dress bearing their names. After this brief interruption, all the girls diligently returned to their work. Sophia approached Vivian once more, this time slyly sending away the girl who had been standing with her on some pretext. She leaned in close to Vivian and urged her not to take the vitamins tonight, advising her to pretend she had taken them. Before Sophia could explain her reasons, another girl arrived to fetch Vivian. Reluctantly, Vivian followed, feeling that Sophia's words had been rather strange. She decided to heed Sophia's advice and didn't take the supposed vitamins. As night fell, everyone else drifted off to sleep, but Vivian and Sophia couldn't find rest. Finally, Sophia confided in Vivian, revealing that the pills they took weren't vitamins at all. They were sleeping pills. Shockingly, all the girls had been receiving these pills since level one. While deep in conversation, they sensed someone approaching their room. In a hurry, Sophia darted into her room. To Vivian's dismay, Miss Brixel entered her room with guards in tow. Vivian quickly feigned sleep. Miss Brixel selected two girls, and Vivian was among them. The guards ushered them into another room where a couple was waiting. The couple was discussing purchasing the girls. Vivian was stunned to realize that instead of being adopted, they were being sold. After the guards left her in the room, Vivian couldn't help but think that Sophia had been right all along. Sophia confided in Vivian that she had stopped taking those so-called vitamins since level 13. She also revealed that when everyone was asleep, the girls from level 16 were paraded in front of potential customers, and the guards would sometimes harass them during the night. This was the reason the facility had summoned the girls for medical checkups. During these checkups, the doctors administered drugs disguised as medicines into their bodies. One doctor told Vivian that she was considered important because her face resembled that of an actress. While they were at the checkup, Vivian's friend noticed that to exit or open any door, a key card was required. This gave Sophia an idea. She told Vivian that they should try to escape at night by taking a key card from the guards. However, Vivian wasn't keen on this plan because she believed that Dr. Miro would help them. The next day, Vivian had another meeting with Dr. Miro, but she left without saying anything, leaving her plea for help unspoken. In the next scene, all the girls are playing games together. However, one of them started vomiting, possibly as a side effect of Dr. Miro's vaccine. Concerned about this, Dr. Miro conducts another checkup on the girls and discovers that Vivian is not taking the drugs they've been given. 
which were the sleeping pills they received at night. Dr. Miro decides to take action and injects Vivian with a shot that makes her feel sluggish. As a result, she doesn't fulfill her duties properly in the boarding house. Some of the other girls complain to Miss Brixel about her behavior, leading to Miss Brixel's fury. She punishes Vivian by locking her in a small cell in front of all the girls. This public punishment serves as a warning to show the consequences of disobedience. After warning Vivian, Miss Brixel returns to her room. Dr. Miro and Miss Brixel are a couple. Their business involves keeping the girls in this facility. Dr. Miro informs Miss Brixel that his boss has ordered them to stalk more girls. But this news upsets Miss Brixel, as she seems reluctant to continue with this operation. Meanwhile, Vivian remains in the cell while Sophia is busy planning her friend's release. She doesn't want to leave Vivian alone in this situation. Sophia starts crafting a rope by tying pieces of clothing together, intending to use it to obtain the key card and potentially confront the guards to free Vivian. As per her plan, when the guards entered her room, Sophia launched an attack on them to get hold of the key card. She managed to overpower one of the guards and took the key card from them. Sophia swiftly made her way to rescue Vivian, but as she approached, the security alarm suddenly blared. Sophia had no choice but to make a run for it. Later, all the girls, including Vivian, were gathered in the meeting room with Miss Brazil. The guards had successfully captured Sophia. Dr. Miro was also present and admonished Sophia's actions, emphasizing that they were not allowed. He announced that Sophia would be punished, but the stolen key card had not been found yet. Brixel, now more cautious, personally distributed the sleeping pills, disguised as vitamins to all the girls to prevent any further disruptions. Meanwhile, Vivian was determined to free her friend, Sophia. However, Vivian was unaware of the exact location where the management had confined Sophia. After taking the sleeping pills from Brixel, Vivian intentionally harmed her hand using a hairpin to stay awake. When everyone was asleep, Vivian managed to locate the hidden key card under Sophia's bed. She attempted to open the door but soon realized it could only be unlocked from the outside. Undeterred, she removed the door's screws with the key card's help. Vivian proceeded to Dr. Miro's room, where she found Brixil. Brixil was taken aback by Vivian's presence and tried to incapacitate her. She attempted to inject Vivian with a syringe, but Vivian managed to turn the tables and injected Brixil with the very same syringe that Brixil had prepared for her. With the key card in hand, Vivian ventured into the basement. There, she found Sophia, whose hands were tied. They entered a surgical room to free Sophia's hands, using whatever tools they could find. Inside the room, they made a grim discovery, the lifeless body of a girl who had been taken away for punishment just a few hours earlier. As Sophia uncovered the girl's face, they were horrified to find that her skin had been removed, leaving a gruesome sight. Terrified by this gruesome scene, Sophia and Vivian decided to escape from the facility. Sophia was determined to save the other girls with them setting the stage for their daring getaway. Frightened by the horrifying discovery in the surgical room, Sophia took on the responsibility of gathering the other girls, while Vivian waited for them near the gate. However, fearing the guards, Vivian found refuge in a room. In this room, Vivian stumbled upon a dark secret. The boarding house was a front for a sinister operation where elderly women received skin grafts from teenage girls, Dr. Miro, the facility's operator, explained this horrific truth in a pre-recorded video. Vivian also realized that Dr. Miro was deeply corrupt. On the other side of the facility, Sophia struggled to convince any of the girls to accompany her on their daring escape. Meanwhile, Vivian decided to confront Brixil and revealed the truth to everyone. To their astonishment, they discovered that Brixil was also an elderly woman who had artificially maintained her appearance. The girls took swift action and locked Brixil in a cell before making their escape. However, during their getaway, a guard attempted to apprehend one of the girls. In a desperate act, the girl managed to overpower the guard and threw him off the building before making her escape. As the girls ran for their lives, the guards were alerted to the situation, and Dr. Miro emerged from the facility. Vivian recalled why Dr. Miro had considered her special and important. Her skin resembled that of a famous TV actress, making it highly valuable. In an act of defiance, Vivian cut her skin in front of Dr. Miro, rendering her skin useless for any further grafting procedures. The doctor left in frustration. The next morning, the police arrived to rescue the girls. 
For the first time in their lives, they experienced the outside world, witnessing sunlight and rain, and stepping into a world of freedom and hope. The movie ends here. Ends. 